Hi there, I'm uh, John Rose, Global Chief Technology Officer and Chief AI Officer of Dell Technologies. And, you know, I wanted to talk to you about the term the Dell AI Factory. You know, this has been fairly visible for well over a year now. We launched it as a framework to do AI in the enterprise. And the thing I want to tell you is that this is not a marketing term. Uh, the AI Factory is not just simply a, 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 a representation of what you should do or an abstraction. It's actually a blueprint of what you need to go through to prosecute and execute a, a, an AI outcome in an enterprise. You know, and if we take it apart, what we know is that doing AI without an understanding of what problem you're solving, what makes you special, is uh, just kind of guessing. And so it starts with the use cases. We've talked about this idea that you have to understand where your source of differentiation is, where you can bend the curve on productivity, and that leads you to a set of well-defined use cases. At Dell, it was services, sales, supply chain, and support. Those are the places that we could bend the curve most significantly. On the other end, what we discovered in Dell was that the foundation is absolutely your data. If we don't understand and have access to the data that actually drives those parts of the business in a way that we can apply AI to them, you can't really do AI. So three years ago, we began a data modernization exercise across the company. That has paid huge dividends in allowing us to move faster because our data was in, in, in the cor correct shape and we knew what problem we were solving. Those are the two bookends. In the middle of the AI factory, there are three things you have to work through to actually build it and implement it. The first is infrastructure. AI infrastructure is different than traditional enterprise infrastructure. <clears throat> it's accelerated compute. It has new tools like vector databases and model stores and other capabilities. Uh, fundamentally, where you run it and how you run it is different. And in fact, what we're telling customers is you, it's probably not a good idea to commingle your legacy IT environment and your AI environment. You actually should have an AI environment that was optimized to run AI so that it's high performance, it's efficient, it's secure, it's scalable. At Dell, we did that. We stood up specific infrastructure to actually power these AI outcomes that was in addition to our traditional infrastructure, but interworking with it. The second layer of that middle stack of the things you have to deal with are the AI systems are complex. They're not just about infrastructure and a model and data. There are tool chains, there are other co components that have to be brought to bear, and there's the model ecosystem about which models you're going to use, which agentic framework you're going to use. And so having access to that ecosystem is critical. At Dell, we have a very large ecosystem already, but we expanded that ecosystem and we managed that ecosystem because our bias is, look, at this stage, many of the tools we need, we don't have to build ourselves. They are off the shelf. We can get them from our partners and our ecosystem, and the result is being able to consume off-the-shelf technology has dramatically accelerated our ability to execute AI and Dell. And then lastly, one thing that's true, and I've said this before about every AI project in the enterprise, is that they all eventually are unique or snowflakes. And the reason for that is not the technology stack, it's the fact that at the end of the day, you are applying AI to your data, your people, your process, your company, which means that the outcome you achieve, even if you use exactly the same tools, will be different than a different company with different people, different process, different data, different company. And so because of that, Almost all AI projects do require a bit of services, a bit of intellectual capital to understand what is the best way to apply AI to a, my sales force, not just any sales force. And that may include consulting companies, people with vertical expertise. We did that at Dell. We got a lot of help on our diagnostics to understand the problem well. And then we applied our ecosystem and a modern infrastructure as a platform to deliver it. But the goal was to really convert the insights and capabilities we have manifest in our data to an outcome that we wanted to achieve, a better supply chain, a better engineering force, a more efficient service organization, or you know, fundamentally uh, a sales force that could reach more customers more aggressively, more rapidly, and more efficiently. Um, Hopefully from that discussion, you know, maybe I made the case that while the AI factory is great marketing, it says you need to build a thing to do AI and here's some parameters to it, it turns out that it's actually more of a blueprint. And if you follow this blueprint and go through these five areas, you end up with a successful outcome much like we have at Dell. You know, today, all four of those areas are fully activated and we have probably close to 100,000 people in the company that have materially changed the way they work and how efficient and how effective they are because of strategically driven AI projects that use this blueprint.